Hey, how's it going all you most amazing top tanners? I'm Landon. This is a channel where we take interesting topics and compile them into a top 10 list for you guys' entertainment. So today, we're gonna learn some interesting facts about hurricanes. So let's get this party started in at number 10 with what exactly is a hurricane? Well, it is a tropical cyclone with winds of 74 miles an hour or more, and it occurs mainly in the Western Atlantic. Hurricanes are usually accompanied by rain, thunder, and lightning, and sometimes they travel into temperate latitudes. Hurricanes tend to form over warm ocean waters near the equator, and this warm, moist air above the ocean surface rises, causing air from surrounding areas to get sucked in. The new air then becomes warm and moist and rises, which starts a continuous cycle that forms clouds. The clouds then rotate with the earth. If there's enough warm water to feed the storm, our hurricane forms. Moving right along, in at number 9, although hurricanes can cause catastrophic damage, they are an important part of Earth's complicated weather system. Similar to giant fans, hurricanes take hot air from the tropics and move it to the poles. They help balance temperature and moisture around the earth. Without hurricanes and other storms, large areas of the planet would be too hot for animals and human life. Up next, in at number 8, did you guys know that hurricanes are also called cyclones and typhoons? Hurricanes, cyclones, and typhoons are actually all the same weather phenomenon. We just use different names for these storms when they occur in different places. In the Atlantic Ocean and Northwest Pacific, there are hurricanes. In the Southeast Pacific, they're called typhoons, and in the South South Pacific and Indian Ocean, they're cyclones. Circling our way into number seven, a hurricane direction of rotation is determined by the Coriolis effect, which is produced by the Earth's rotation. The Coriolis effect causes hurricanes in the southern hemisphere to rotate in a clockwise direction, whereas in the northern hemisphere, they rotate in a counterclockwise direction. Okay, so we have now made it into the number have you guys ever wondered how hurricanes get their names? Well, the World Meteorological Organization is responsible for naming each hurricane. Each year, tropical storms are named in alphabetical order according to a list produced by the WMO. The name stays with the storm if it develops into a hurricane. The name can only be repeated after six years. Up next, in at number five, hurricanes rotate around a circular center called the eye, where it is generally calm with no clouds. This happens as a hurricane strengthens and the wind speeds increase increase to about 80 miles an hour. Surrounding the eye is the eye wall. The eye wall is a ring of dense thunderstorm clouds referring to as the cumulonimbus clouds. This is the most dangerous part of the hurricane because it is the strongest winds, thickest clouds, and heaviest rains. Okay, we're moving up this list in at number four. When a hurricane reaches land, it often produces a storm surge. This is when the high winds drive the sea towards the shore, causing water levels to rise and creating large crashing waves. Storm surges can often reach six meters high and extend to over 150 kilometers. Kilometers. Storm surges have long been recognized as the most destructive part of a hurricane, causing drownings and property destruction. This incredible wall of water stops for nothing in its path. As it moves across land, it picks up and carries debris that it finds along the way, such as cars, utility poles, boats, and sometimes people. The Great Galveston Hurricane of the 1900s was the deadliest hurricane to have ever hit the United States, and this actually brings us into number three. The storm reached the Texas coast south of Galveston on September 8th as a Category 4 hurricane with a storm surge of 8 to 15 feet. The lack of warning and the high storm surge caused the storm to have the highest death toll of any United States hurricane. Okay, so this next fact in at number two might shock some of you guys because the Sahara Desert affects the Atlantic hurricane. It has been said that if it wasn't for the Sahara Desert, there would actually be fewer hurricanes, but why? The enormous desert is located near the equator with cooler wet regions to the south and west. When you combine the air that's very hot and dry with air that's relatively cold, cold and damp, you get an easterly wind known as the African Easterly Jet that forms tropical waves. These blow out to sea and with the proper conditions, they can turn into a hurricane. Almost 90% of all major hurricanes are formed this way. Okay, so we've made it into the number one spot for our list for the top 10 facts about hurricanes. So did you guys know that hurricanes are enormous heat engines that generate energy on a staggering scale? They draw heat from warming moist ocean and release it through condensation of water vapor in thunderstorms. The energy released by condensation in a single day in an average hurricane is at least 200 times the entire world's electrical energy production capacity. Let me put this into perspective for you guys. The total energy from the Hurricane Sandy was recorded at 140 terajoules, or about twice the energy released by the atomic bomb that was dropped on Hiroshima. Well, there you guys have it. That's everything you need to know about hurricanes. Let me know what you think of this video in the comment section below. What top 10 should I do next? Let me know as well. I'll see you guys all in the next video. <laughs> 
So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. You guys should share it around on social media. If you liked it, hit that like button. If not, no worries. Hopefully you'll enjoy the next video. If you want to continue watching videos because you know you're not all totally caught up, it's okay. You guys can look right over here and click on one of these videos. That's it for me. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye.